So, so just know that I was supposed to be like the, um, you know, the side and not the entree here. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I don't really have anything totally prepared, but I do um, have a vision um, that I want to share with you. And a lot of it is based on the ideas that, you know, have just been put forward. And I think, um, you know, so I, of course I'm a note taker. Uh, you know, when you think about the things that um, the co-ops, all of you are able to achieve in your community. So we saw it like in Steve's presentation, whether it's a school program or dealing with your local farmers, being able to pay staff better. All of these things, you know, the, the image that Mark gave of that tree with all those little trees around it that grow. I think of the co-op, you know, so here's the co-op in the middle um, of your community and there's this concept called third places where, you know, um, you know, home is like your first place, work is your second, but people need a third place to go and congregate in their community. And that's what I see has happened with co-ops. Co-ops have become the hub and the heart of the community and its ability to take, um, take concepts and, uh, co or not, not all co-ops, but companies, other, other aspects of the community, when you look at these values all across the room here, making connections out from that hub to other organizations that share the values, that's where the growth and, and being able to drive forward the co-op um, values into the community is gonna come from. So when Sarah talked about grow or die, you know, if you have this little co-op, and you, may, you, know, you, can, you can still make these connections but there, it's only, you can only have, you have this much resource. As you grow and get stronger, you have greater capacity to reach more and more of those community connections. So it's not just profitability, which, I mean, you have to have profitability or you're not gonna have the economic engine to fuel the growth and to make those community connections. So as you grow, you can make stronger connections and then those you know, uh, organizations that you've connected to, you can actually start rolling that wheel. And that's what's gonna move you forward. That's what's gonna make co-ops branch out into the future. You know, so I think um, at NCGA, what we've tried to do is tackle some of the legal framework. You know, uh, the, the things, whether it's the organic coalition or the Just Label It campaign, but we can't do it without you and you doing it in your community with your members. Um, I think, you know, if each of us can grow our co-ops and make these strong connections, then like at events like this, now all of a sudden, so instead of having one wheel moving forward, if we can connect to you, we've got an axle. And then we can get the drivetrain, and then we've got a vehicle for change. Because we want to change the world. I mean, let's make no mistake about it. That's what we're talking about. Food is the vehicle for change, but what we want is a different world order. And we're doing it one community at a time and starting with the things that we think matter most. And that's my vision. <laughs>